Hi friends, today we are going to play with Arduino and MG90 servo motor. This servo motor is metal geared and can handle a load than the SG90 servo motor. Let's see how it works. I use Arduino Uno to control our MG90 servo motor. In general, a servo motor has three terminals, VCC, ground, and PWM signal input. I attach some connectors to all three pins. Now connect the servo motor, plus or VCC pin to the Arduino Uno's 5 volts pin. You can easily identify this pin by the red color in most servo motors. Then connect brown or black colored common ground connector to the Arduino Uno's ground pin. The PWM signal pin is colored in yellow, for most servo motors. Connect the PWM signal pin to the pin 9 of Arduino Uno. I use 100 kilo ohms potentiometer to control the position of our MG90 servo motor. This small development board will be handy for our testing. Attach the potentiometer to the development board. Also attach 3 male connector wires for 3 pins of potentiometer. Now connect the potentiometer's middle connector to the analog zero pin of Arduino Uno. Connect other two wires to the common ground of Arduino Uno, and to the 3.3 volts pin of Arduino Uno. You can exchange these two wires to change the direction of servo motor. Be sure to connect these three wires correctly, before powering the Arduino. Never change the middle wire of potentiometer to other pin. I attach the servo motor arm to clearly view its movement. Now it's time to code our simple program in Arduino Wide. I open the Arduino from the start menu. We need to include servo H header file to control our servo motor with PWM signals. I declare new servo object as my servo. Then, I define the potentiometer value input pin as analog zero. Also I define a variable to store the value, as val. Now, in the setup method, I initialize the serial monitor in Arduino, so we can monitor the position of the servo motor. Then I attach the pin number 9 to my servo object. In the loop method, we first read the value of potentiometer. Then we need to map that value to the servo motor angle. My servo write method will write the angle value to our servo motor.
Then, we need some delay to keep the stability of your Arduino. Now I save our Arduino code. Okay, our work is now saved. Then, I select the Arduino no board from the tools menu. And the port. This port can be different in your PC. Then I upload our code to the Arduino, and let's see what happens. Open the serial monitor to view values. Upload success, and our serial monitor now displaying values. Let's see how it works. Nice, the servo works fine, to the value of our potentiometer. Now we can use this for our future projects. If you like to watch our future project videos, please click the red subscribe button below and enable notifications icon. So you will be notified when we release a new project video. Also, don't forget to click the like button below and leave your comment in the comment section. And please share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.